next celebrity chef is Chef Alexia Smith. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Alexia Smith was born in Jamaica and migrated to the United States with her family as a child. Her love for cooking was inspired by her father and spending a lot of time with him in the kitchen. Kind of sounds like me. She spent a lot of her elective time during middle school and high school in home economic class. In the last two years of her high school career, Alexia had completed most of her required classes and had a lot of free time on her hands. She was encouraged by her guidance counselor to find a hobby or a job because he didn't want her roaming the halls or interrupting other students from completing their work. He eventually came across a culinary vocation program and tried his hardest to get her into that program. It was a bit of a challenge because Alexia was an honor student and the program was designed for students who didn't plan on going to college. After some back and forth, Alexia was finally able to join the culinary program. There she realized her true love for all things culinary and became one of the top students in the class, winning the Culinary Olympics in the first place in all of New York State. Her culinary instructors were so amazed by her talent, they spent time honor, honoring her um, her skills and encouraged her to pursue this as a career. Alexia decided to attend the Culinary Institute of America against her parents' wishes, as with all Caribbean parents should have been attending law school or medical school. Her mother was so upset that she wanted to attend culinary school. She brought Alexia to their home church to their pastor to have the pastor rebuke this terrible idea and pray it away, stating, me never leave my country and bus me butt for come come a farin for have me picnic a cook for people. I hope my pato was good. <laughs> I know I'll be getting a little bit of schooling on my pato later. Needless to say, Alexia was determined to pursue her passion and begged her mother for her blessing. Alexia earned her bachelor's degree in culinary management and went on to serve in the capacity of assistant general manager at corporate food service accounts like New York Times. Hearst Corporation as a director of catering at Condé Nast Publications. She spent seven years in the corporate arena and became fed up with the lack of diversity in upper management and empty promises of promotion and she walked off her job. I like her. After leaving her job, Alexia decided to rebrand herself and launch her private chef brand. She was introduced to her first celebrity client, Bow Wow, by a fellow classmate. She then went on to serve for private chef for Sean Diddy Combs, Alicia Keys, and so many other celebrities. In addition to her growing success as a private chef to high, high profile Alexia, to high profile clientele, Alexia successfully launched an amazing granola brand called Ingrained. She launched the brand in 2016 and it is steadily growing. It's currently available in the Hamptons, NYC, and online. Alexia continues to expand her brand and is working to add beverages in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexia Smith. Hi, Alexia. Hi, guys. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, my gosh. First of all, your background, your scenery, everything is so amazing right Thank now. You. Oh, Thank my you. goodness. So please tell us what you have for us today. So uh, obviously, you know, this is, um, I wanted to obviously bring in my Caribbean background. So I'm doing a twist on what we know as beef patties. So today I, I, I love Latino cuisine. So I'm actually doing um, some oxtail and cheese empanadas. You know, wow. just beef patties. So yes, thank you. That's so empanadas awesome. are, <laughs> empanadas are small um, patty, dough-filled patties. You can fill them with meat, with cheese, with vegetables. And today mine has oxtail and mozzarella cheese inside. The Ooh. dough, the recipe should be there for you guys. The dough is actually made from flour, some pork fat, that's the secret, some salt and some hot water. Nice. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through the steps. Over here, I have my fire on ready to go cause we're actually gonna fry them up. So I'm going to give you guys just a quick glimpse of how to fill the empanadas. I rolled out my dough. Okay. Um, I used a rolling pin. A lot of people don't have rolling pins at home, but I know a lot of us, we may be making black cakes. So we have some brand nephew bottles lying around right. at home. We can definitely use that as a rolling pin and just use something with a four or five inch diameter to cut circles out. 
right? Yes. So we have yes. to get really industrial when we're in the kitchen and we don't have all the fancy chef tools. Right. So over here, we have mm -hmm. some leftover oxtail. I had some oxtail for dinner last night. Right. Um, I just sauteed it with some scotch bonnet peppers, some shallots, some tomato paste and garlic to give it a little extra flavor and some of the Latin American seasoning. Um, and then I have some mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella is a great melting cheese. So I have some of that here. I'm just gonna walk you through the steps of making the empanada. I wanna stretch my round out just a little bit. I have a little water here that I'm gonna put around the edge because we have to do that to seal it. So I'm sealing the edges here. I got a little bit of this oxtail. It smells so good, guys. I wish you were here to smell it. And a little bit of this cheese on top. And it is ready to go. All right, so we've sealed it. We want to make sure it doesn't open. So I have a wonderful tool that everyone should have at home, a fork. Right, right. Just to cinch the edges here. Mm -hmm. We're going to cinch them on top. We're gonna cinch them on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And here we go. We are gonna get these in the oil and then we're gonna start our mango sauce. Ooh, so nice. So how do you, okay, so oxtail, are you peeling the meat off of the actual bone and like, I'm is that? Picking the meat off of the bone, yes. Okay. So I know, I know it's like, it's probably like sacrilegious, right? In like Caribbean cuisine, but listen, um, <laughs> you can't like obviously, you know, I, I've done a lot with oxtail. I make lasagnas with oxtail. I've done so much with oxtail because it's just such um, an amazing ingredient that we have here in Jamaica. And um, yeah, here in America, people are just catching on to it. You know, they use it a lot to make stocks because the bone has so much, it's so gelatinous. It really yeah. makes for a strong gelatinous stock. So you see that they're using a lot of pigtail and finer dining cuisines now, a lot of oxtail because they see this meat has so much value, which is why it's so expensive now. Yeah, I don't know what, you know, I, it, I mean, seven ninety nine a pound and in some places nine ninety nine a pound now. Some, it's funny, in New York City, I think I get it for thirteen ninety nine, and that's New York City, Manhattan, so. Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Wow. So these are frying here. We're gonna let them just get brown. We have them and just cooking in some regular peanut oil because it gives it a nice crisp. And we'll okay. come back to that. Let's get started on our um, mango sauce. I have Could two I ripe oil if I was allergic to peanut. Of course, you can use a canola oil, a vegetable oil. You just need a very you can't use olive oil to fry. When you're frying something, you need uh -huh. a very versatile, very neutral flavored oil. Okay. However, peanut oil makes things so much more crispier. That's why I'm a fan of fan of using it. But obviously, if someone has a you know dietary restriction that they're allergic to nuts, find yeah. yourself a very neutral oil. Um, I like to use canola or just a plain vegetable oil because it really the flavor of that oil is almost non-existent and it won't overwhelm your food. Gotcha, gotcha. So here I have my two ripe mangoes. And I have a scotch bonnet pepper that I seeded and deboned because we don't want it too spicy. We just want that smokiness. Okay. Okay. So I'm putting that in my blender setting here. I'm keeping an eye on my empanadas. I got to flip them. Mm -hmm. This is super amazing. Oh, thank you. The way that... Um like you're putting these empanadas together, you know, I, I'll go to a, a Cuban joint every now and then and, and pick up some right. empanadas. Never. Because empanadas are like, right. It's like a Cuban staple. Right. So we've got some salt going in. I just put in about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. I'll test for sugar later. And I'm actually going to squeeze in about two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Okay. Okay. I have a question from the audience. They want to know if they Please. can use coconut oil. To fry? Yeah. You can use coconut oil to fry, and I'll tell you why, because coconut oil does have a very high heat content. So it, it, it can fry, but it's a very strong flavor. So whatever you're frying it, whatever you're frying in coconut oil will taste like coconut oil. 
So uh, I don't know if you'd want to fry an empanada in a coconut oil, you know, mm-hmm. if you don't want it to taste overwhelmingly gotcha. like coconut. Gotcha. gotcha. All right, guys. So look at these. Look how beautiful they are. You're going to come on this side, right? Nice. So I'm getting ready to pull these out of the oil. They're nice and crispy. And you see these wow. air pockets here? Yes, yes. These yes. air pockets are because of the pork fat that I put in the dough. Mm. So it makes it so light and so flaky. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. And just like that, simple. Just like that. Just simple, just like that. So I'm going to take those out of the oil. And I'm going to turn my fire off. And we're going to finish our sauce. And we're going to plate up so you guys can... See, I wish, I wish I was there live so you guys can be eating this. I know. I'm pretty sure someone's asking for your address right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're in New York, just give me a call. So your story is very interesting. Um, yes. A lot of uh, a lot of your our fans that are in this um, watching you right now, you know, they're they're supportive of you. You know, they're glad that you followed your dreams. You know? I had to. Yeah. Thank you so much. It it was really a struggle for me at first because my mom was completely against it. It's about to get really loud. Give me one moment. Let no me problem. um just blend this quickly. Anne-Marie, um, your first time, Anne-Marie, she's located at the uh, spot in September time. There we go. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Hi, I'm going to get a bowl. Planning to head over to Dutch Pot, you can, and ask for their runabout special right over there across from BCC. Uh, you can definitely check them out. And if you head over there right away, they may just give you a gift. <laughs> all right and all right chef all right so i've blended the mango the habanero the lime juice the sugar the salt i'm just gonna add my chopped cilantro for a little bit of color you know and just give it a, i know cilantro isn't uh a typical jamaican ingredient but remember we're doing a twist of I love it. uh I love our it. Caribbean <laughs> latino blend so and it, look it, gives, it provides such a beautiful color yes so our sauce yeah. is ready, it's nice and thick. And we are going to plate up. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, awesome. So, oh, I have over here some pickled red onions because who doesn't love red onions? I pickled nice. them, it's super simple. Um, oh, some and, water, uh-huh. apple cider vinegar, equal parts salt and sugar. Ah, uh, okay. And okay. you can make those up to two weeks ahead in advance. So I can store that in the fridge and use it never, up to or? two weeks, mm-hmm. okay. up to two weeks. Yeah. Okay. So let's just cut it. And I just want you to take a look at the filling on the inside. How good does that look? Ooh, that looks amazing. Right. <laughs> 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 so we're just going to plate it up here. Um, I have a simple, beautiful salad that's just going to go here. Nice. Nice and garnish. What kind of greens are those? It's just a mixed garden green. Okay. Um, So you have some baby lettuces, some kale, um, some mesclun, Mm -hmm. um, some spinach. And uh, all right, let's get our empanadas on the plate. Mm -hmm. Nice. And we're going to put a little bit of sauce on the side here. While you're plating that, I'm going to ask Anne-Marie a question. Anne-Marie, I know you're at Dutch Pot right now. Can you hear me? Anne-Marie, can you hear me? Okay. So uh, I'll wait till she gets back on. So yeah, so you're plating right now, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Get a little bit of our onion on here. So nice. we don't want to miss out on that onion action. Yes. A little uh that looks amazing. All right, guys. And let's yeah. get a beautiful shot. Woo! That is awesome. Yes. Right? 
Wonderful. Wonderful. So that's our dish for today. I hope you guys have the time to make it, you know, and enjoy yeah. it like I'm about to right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just put that onto the empanada and eat it that way? You would. So okay. here we go. The one that I've cut. I, I like everything. So I'm going to do a little bit of the mango sauce. Okay. Get some of that onion on there. Mm. And I'm going in. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to FedEx mine. <laughs> awesome. That mango sauce is amazing. Nice. And all you did was I literally you guys it up, right in front of my face. Like that's it. That's I'm it. not a fan of cooked mangoes. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of cooked mangoes. Raw mangoes, just pureed. Yeah. Nice and fresh. It just adds such like a lightness to the dish because you know oxtail is um it's very hearty. So yes. the mango sauce really cuts that fat and makes it really enjoyable. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Chef, it was amazing watching you I'm cook in the kitchen. <laughs> glad I could have been a part of it. Thank you for having me, guys. Not a problem. Thank you so much. We're going to head You're over welcome. to restaurants and see uh, what's taking place. I think we have Anne-Marie at Dutch.